After Monroe Woodbury took out Warwick 37-6 last Friday, several Crusaders said the same thing to me on the field. We're back. We didn't need Monroe Woodbury to smoke Warwick to let us know they're back. But just in case anyone was wondering, the Crusaders put up a dominating performance. This is Justin Rodriguez for the Varsity 845 football show. Let's go to the highlights. Monroe Woodbury vs. Warwick. It was never close. Monroe Woodbury scored the first 20 points of the game and led 23-6 at halftime. The key to the Crusaders' big win? They held Warwick bruising fullback Matt Weaver to just 89 yards after a pair of 200-yard games to open the season. And it was MW who made all the big plays. Quarterback Kevin Carr hit Justin Kaffenberger for two touchdowns and Carr added two more rushing scores. Meanwhile, the MWD was swarming on the ball. John Mallon, Irvin's Aristotle, and Mike Gennaro all had interceptions for the Crusaders, who haven't lost on the road since 2002. Here's what Aristotle had to say after the game. Hey, I feel like it's a great statement game for the team. So we're just showing the section that we're back this year. The game plan was just to stop Weaver. We, we tried to let uh, the quarterback or uh, Garcia try to beat us or something. So we just uh, stacked up the box and worked on tackling all week. We checked in with another Monroe defensive back, John Mallon. His take. It feels great. You know, uh, our coaches have been talking about us not being able to hit after that uh, first that first game. We gave up a lot of points. We just wanted to come out here. We wanted to hit that big one in back. Okay, it's on to this week's feature. Cornwall is a perennial Section 9 player and reached the semifinals of the Class A state playoffs last year. Still, the Green Dragons were hit hard by graduation and injuries this year. Cornwall graduated 17 players from last year's team. We didn't expect Cornwall to all of a sudden tank it, but the Green Dragons do deserve some credit. Cornwall is 3-0 and coming off a Class A win over Monticello by the score of 41-7. Cornwall running back and linebacker Luke Zito talked about Cornwall's success. Um, it's really just because we all know that anyone can step in at any moment. And like, like fo what football is, injuries can always happen. So we're always ready. And that's really the reason why, because everyone on the team is just ready to step in. This year, the Green Dragons lost right guard Justin Hines to a knee injury late in preseason. He's out for the year. His replacement, Dominic Bielosi, went down with a bone bruise in week one against Minnesing Valley. He missed a game before returning. Linebacker John Roth is out for the year with a shoulder injury. Meanwhile, running back linebacker Jeff Greigel missed a game with a bone bruise earlier this year. Wide receiver Chris Bauer has been banged up early in the season but is finally starting to heal. Pelosi talked about stepping up and doing the job as a second stringer forced to be a starter. And Justin went down with the injury. Obviously, it was very difficult for our team. He was a, a hard worker and he was starting. But when he went down, somebody had to fill the position. So I gladly leaped at the chance. I could become a varsity starter and work as hard as I could for the team. I didn't want them to lose or struggle because of me. So I made sure I knew all the plays, worked as hard as I could, and did my job. And We've been fairly successful so far. Cornwall has Red Hook this week. Chalk up another win for the Green Jagged. As for the game of the week, Kingston is at undefeated Pine Bush in a Class AA Division I showdown. Pine Bush started last year 3-0, but Kingston gave them their first loss of the season. Things went south for the Bushmen from there. Both teams need this win with Newburgh and Monroe Woodbury looming on the schedule. For Pine Bush, this is a potential statement game. For Kingston, who is 1-2, this is a chance to show Pine Bush that they aren't quite ready for prime time. Drum roll, please. I'm going to take Pine Bush 22-21 in what will obviously be a great game. Thanks for watching, everyone. This is Justin Rodriguez signing off for Varsity 845. This is 845, Varsity man up. It's game time, everybody stand up. From my town, we yours, we ready for sure. From the field to the court, yeah, we ready for war. This is 845, Varsity man up. It's game time, everybody stand up. From my town, we yours, we ready for sure. From the field to the court, yeah, we ready for war. I said it's game time, so it's time to score. If you're not playing to win, then what you playing it for? From the field to the hardwood floor, win some and lose some. Just give it your all, whether it's basketball. Base of football, it's all American. It's on when the season's here again. PYP, gotta play your position. Yeah. Gotta go hard, give it a hundred and ten. Fans cheering in the stands, yeah, you gotta this love it. Eight, four, five, boss.
city, man up. It's game time. Everybody stand up for my town. We lost. We ready for sure. From the field to the court, yeah, we ready for war. This is 845. Varsity, man up. It's game time. Everybody stand up for my town. We lost. We ready for sure. From the field to the court, yeah, we ready for war.